Welcome back. The time right now is 726. I'm here with Patrick Dickinson. He's a horticulturist and Denise Hickey, our water expert. Today we're talking about lawns, how to have that green thumb and take care of those weeds. Right. Where and, and, do we start? Well, and it's kind of confusing for a lot of people. Why are we talking about weed treatment going into the fall? And surprisingly, that's one of the best times. Oh. A lot of the weeds are storing up their food for the wintertime. So when you treat them, they pull that in and it goes deep down into the roots. I didn't know weeds store food. Right. Okay. And the other thing about that is they, uh, you have to remember, I want to make one point, that weeds are simply an unwanted plant or a plant out of place. True. A lot of our weeds are great native plants. So it's important to remember that, that we don't want you just to broadcast treat your entire landscape. Okay, <laughs> I get it. Where does water come into this? Well, these are chemicals that you would, these are the synthetic chemicals that you can use on your lawns. You have a pre-emergent that will actually um, prevent it from sprouting. Um, you have your post-emergent that will then treat it after it's already shown up in your yard. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have chemicals that you will spray and it will kill anything that it comes into contact with. The important thing is you want to identify and make sure that you're treating the correct weed with the correct herbicide. And you don't want to over apply because if you over apply and it becomes a rainstorm, all of those chemicals wash down with the rain runoff and it goes into our, our water supply. Okay, so how do you make sure you don't over spray? Read yeah. the label. <laughs> you have to read the label. Good point. All the labels. Very simple. All Fair the enough. labels peel back. And this is one of the most popular brands to use this for. Okay. Um, we peel these back and it gives you all the information. Most importantly, it on a, a lot of our uh, post-emergent treatments, it breaks it down on what kind of weeds, mm -hmm. the species. So you have to identify the weed. And there's three different categories that we tell people. Broadleaf weeds like clover and dandelion. Okay. Grassy weeds like Dallas grass, which is spelled D-A-L. L I S. Mm -hmm. Can't blame it on Dallas. <laughs> and then the last one is your sedges, like nut sedge, which is very common. We would rather people spot spray those weeds instead of broadcast. And we're not promoting any brand or any use of synthetics. There are organic options out there as well. Right. Some as simply as pull it before it spreads. That makes sense too. Patrick, before we go here, mm -hmm. how do we make sure people get your information? Because you've got some classes as well that people should know about. Can we just get that out Absolutely. there? Absolutely. It's Water University. Dot tamu dot edu, which is Texas A&M University, T-A-M-U dot edu. Perfect, and we'll make sure that we get that on our website. Thank you so much for joining us this Thank morning. You. We'll be right back after this break.